So our next question is from Lance. And Lance asks us, on the podcast, you've mentioned many times that you, your old throws coach, Coach Ralph Mon, recommended lifting three days a week and throwing four days a week for the next eight years. Yeah, exactly right. I am wondering if you think a similar plan would be beneficial for baseball football players to increase running speed and throwing speed. Easy strength type workouts, squat, press, pull for three days a week, and throwing, sprinting, jumping the other four days. You, you also mentioned Barry Ross's work for improving speed, but he generally recommends higher intensity on his programs, 85% plus. Uh, just real quick, I'm going to answer that last question first. Barry uh, had his athletes, his sprinters, do sumo deadlifts, and they always dropped the bar at the top. And really towards the end, it was just a hinge. It was a loaded hinge with the, with the he never allowed the eccentric. Uh, also, these were sprinters. So their 85% uh, really still weren't extraordinarily big deadlifts. Uh, you know, if you have a high school girl deadlifting uh, 200 pounds, which is not unusual at all, uh, 90 kilos, you know, 85% of that is... Uh, I should have picked a better number. You know, it's in it's in the high hundreds. It's not a it's not a very big lift. What one seventy five, one seventy something like that. It's not a it's not a massive number that's going to cripple anybody. Um, strong for a, a sprinter, not strong for you know a thrower, American football player, rugby player. I like that. So he's asking, you know, honestly, and 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 Lance, as I stop and think about this even more. Uh, in my perfect world, every athlete would lift weights three days a week and perform their sport four days a week. That to me, um, you know, in the off season, you would lift Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because that works in my brain. Uh, you would do your sport um, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday are sports or sprinting or jumping or throwing only. And Monday is the only day we have to have that conversation of, you know, doing both on one day with Wednesday and Friday being lift only and Sunday being a day of rest. I just invented Sunday as a day of rest. You're welcome. Yeah, I think there's great value in it, Lance. I think one of the issues that happens is when I was young, that is how people trained. It's what they did. And it does help to have more training sessions per per day, per week, per month, per year, per decade. It does. The more training sessions you can get, the better. But the mistake we're making, at least in the American side of things, is that we're trying to cram eight years into eight weeks. And I think it's a much more successful idea. And in fact, you can stick with the eight there too. I think you should do that about eight months of the year and either take two full months off or break up, you know, a short, you know, maybe, a, I don't know, like do something like I, I, I do now. I take off six weeks a year from my norm, and then I sprinkle in a week or two of serious deloading in the rest of the year. And that serious deloading is usually, you know, going to Europe or, you know, going to Hawaii or going on a trip or whatever. I, and I just don't train that week. It might be better to train you know, those eight months take the six weeks, two weeks. And then on those, those other two months of the year, I'm sorry, I skipped it in the earlier on those other two months of the year, either that is depending on how good you are, either that's your competition peak or that's that deep off season training. We used to call it getting in shape, but it's when you try to build up a, a foundation of qualities and then after that two months, six to six to eight weeks, however it works out in your system. And that's, by the way, during this, during that, during this foundation building program, this is a good time to play another sport. Um, almost universally, almost universally, I recommend volleyball. Volleyball is a great off season sports, lots of jumping, lots of laughing, lots of, you know, it's competitive. There's an indoor sport called volleyball that might be valuable. So you got that, you know, you got that foundational building. This is a good time to do some cross country running or even cross country hiking, biking, kayaking, whatever, you know, 
uh, in the weight room, not necessarily a good time of year to Olympic lift, but it's a real good time to hit those machines. It's a good time to year to work on that flexibility program you read online. It's a good time of year to try that thing you saw that person do that sounded like a good idea and rarely, rarely, rarely is. So, uh, eight months a year, you're, you're going to do this very boring three days a week weightlifting program, four, four days a week of doing your sport. Yeah, over eight years, you're going to get good. Throw in some time off, off, just totally off. Throw in some prep time or peak time, depending on what your sport's like. You know, when I work with professional baseball here in the United States, uh, we have one program that we do. Uh, and uh, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing fancy about it, but it's an easy strength hybrid. But the program goes uh, week one, A, B, A, A and B are the, 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 the organization of the exercises. They're, they change a little bit. A, B, A, week two, B, A, B. Two weeks, right? Well, with Major League Baseball, it might take six or seven weeks to do those two weeks because of the travel, injuries, exhaustion. Uh, literally, in some cases, like things like heat stroke. And, um, you know, I had a buddy explain to me the problem with being a Major League Baseball player is putting on your uniform 162 times, and that's just the regular season, is exhausting. <laughs> just putting on your gear that many times. And don't forget, they have preseason, they have playoffs, they have World Series, they have this, they have that. So, yeah, I honestly think, Lance, that that's the best way to go. Lance's question is simple. Coach Mon says to me, the secret, lift three days a week, throw four days a week for the rest of your career. Does that work in every other sport? Yes. But here's what you're going to miss. Trying to cram those eight years into eight days, eight weeks, eight months, ain't going to work. You've got to take the time, and that is seriously almost a decade worth of commitment and training. I think the fastest route to get strong is the slow route, but no one wants to hear that. Good question, Lance.